Um, good afternoon. Um, today I just want to talk a little bit about a discussion I had in a bar on Saturday morning at Freddy's about um, gender ideology and how serious activists are about it and how I feel about it. Um, and it got quite lively. Um, this is the um, this is there's there's where I was sitting on Saturday morning. That's the picture of me sitting Saturday morning. And let me bring up the talking points. Um, and so here is what here is what people said when um, we had the discussion. Um, the most surprising thing was that schools, at least in Northern Virginia, have allowed students to change their names and pronouns on a case-by-case -case basis, even um, without telling their parents um, since the 1990s. Um, I was not aware of this when I was working as a substitute teacher, and it would only happen very occasionally, um, and it was not talked about, and so it wasn't politicized, so it was going on for a long time. And no one seemed to care because it wasn't it wasn't increasing very much, or it wasn't happening very much, so it wasn't an, an issue. Um, now activism increased in schools after Trump became president, and um, in Northern Virginia public schools right now, for example, there are re resources for LGBTQIA, but they're generally not you know there's generally not a lot of emphasis on them. For example, you can. Um, in Fairfax County, for example, there is a um, page for it, um, which you can go to. I think it'll come up. Um, but gen but generally, it's not perceived as much of an. Generally, it's not a bit an issue. When I was working as an election judge, we were in a middle school and. Springfield and there were a couple of pride signs on the hall and that was it. There was not very much evidence that there was a lot of attention being paid to it the one day I was there. Now activists including Agla here in, Ar in Arlington, Virginia, they tend to believe that trans and non-binary youth are a definite category and they are sometimes severely marginalized and bullied. They think more so than women and girls in general. And that's even overriding in their minds the, the need for consideration in restrooms and lockers and participation in sports. They think that the, the marginalization of trans people is real when they're young and deserves more attention than the rights, the more common rights that we even associate with women versus men, for example, right now. And so that's the turf problem, I guess. Um, they also believe that the, the, the doctors who claim that medical, that puberty blockers are reasonably safe if they're only given for two or three years. But of course, you're, you're delaying a child's development and it's going to be obvious to other people. I think it's creating a situation. But anyway, the, the, um, these counterclaims about the unknown effects down the road and the danger, you know, the danger of this development of, of pushing gender ideology in schools and so forth. The danger to women's spaces and the, the idea that younger children won't understand gender as they do. Those are said to be right-wing talking points. And then they said to me that those like me who repeat these right-wing talking points like, you know, by the libs of TikTok, you know, Christopher Rufo and so forth may st st at least stochastically be urging more harassment of trans people. So we shouldn't be doing it we, we're, because we don't really have our own stake in the game and we're co inadvertently encouraging more harassment. That's what they claim. Um, now, the major conservative talking points are pretty clear, you know, that minors should not make life-changing decisions until they're adults. And they shouldn't be prodded to do so um, by activists. Uh, and that normal, pu normal puberty is necessary for brain and skeletal development. And a lot of literature I've looked at says that it is, that 
many many students learning issues like ADHD and so forth go away with puberty so delaying puberty doesn't sound like a very good idea to me and I think women's rights in general need to be respected I think most of the mainframe thinks that and the fact that somebody has some non-conforming behaviors as a child um, doesn't justify any recognition of doesn't recognition of their, their recon, doesn't justify recognition of them as a suspect class or a marginalized group um, and that over particularly that overrides the needs for women in general um, and they're even rather insistent that um, many parents are bad parents and that schools should not notify parents when students amount to them they seem to be insistent on that and they also seem to be insistent that that um, some aspects of what we call critical race theory that students do need to do the exercises in class to understand privilege um, I, I think it's coercive and I think you're 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 getting into an area of in act asking individuals what sacrifices they have to make individually for the sins of their ancestors in the past but they were not willing to talk about it that way um, but so they're quite insistent that the needs of marginalized groups as groups as we not just as individuals but as be met that way the last point I would mention that the activists often forget about we still have a selective service system we don't have an active draft and there was a fake story about Joe Biden and that recently but um, registration for select mandatory registration for selective service is still by birth sex and um, or you know sex assigned at birth if you were assigned as a male at birth and then between 18 and 25 you have to be registered for selective service I would think that um, you if you change that so everyone had to register that would fix that but then of course you have to another question is whether the government can compel sacrifice by individuals that way but that's what I wanted to say about this conversation at Freddy's on Friday morning um, or on Saturday morning during my waffle breakfast um, once again just a um, well I can't find you know there's there's the there's the picture of me I'm sitting there after eating my waffles and everything